I mean, I think that what the uniqueness here is that we try to instill like the family culture. You know, we're all a family. We're not a, it's not a company, it's not a business, it is. But at the end of the day, we all want to be family. They're very self-driven people coming from loading trains uh, and just the, the kind of work atmosphere that is. I think that they're harder, harder working people down here in Texas than they are up uh, further north. They're driven for the results. Every single day they know what they got to do. They come to work and they get it done. Okay, my name is Romero Ortiz and I'm working here as a maintenance. I maintain the, uh, all the equipment and I'm happy and I love my job, what I do here. You know, and especially because all these people, I mean, they are like a family. I think the employees here have pride in what they're doing. I really, I really do. I mean, for the most part, all the employees here care. They want to do the best they can do for us. I started out working in the mill, changing shifts, uh, worked my way up to weighing trucks, did all the truck weighing, and now I'm a manager. I mean, I've been given a chance to grow here, basically. I just feel like that's what's expected of me, you know, just, I mean, the last eight years, I've just, I don't know, it, it's given me some hope in life, I guess, you know, I just expect exactly what they expect from me is what I expect from the job, you know, it's, it's an everyday deal for me, no matter what. Well, of course, just on a, on a, the level of a housewife, someone who would use the product in the way that I would use it, I would believe in, that our product is just awesome, uh, but knowing what I know about what goes into the uh, checks and balances of producing this product uh, on the scientific side, on the food safety side, on the, on the technical side, um, again, I would have to say that our product is awesome and it is a safe, quality product that I think anybody should be proud and feel safe to use. Texas is a big state. And so the quality of the wheat or the corn or whatever grain you're talking about varies from region to region in Texas. We've been blessed around this area and in that, that draw area that we can get farmers to bring us has been blessed because it, it brings us consistent, pretty good quality and sometimes maximum quality. Uh, most grain comes uh, from the field into the elevator what we try to do first and then we supplement with uh, anything that we merchandise out of other elevators around the area but we work primarily with farmers as much as we can. The more we can buy from our local farmers we're a lot better off. We can always buy regular normal traditional wheat bring it in and blend it to make ours go further but day in and day out there's a lot of people out there that wish they could get their hands on what we have. Well, we took in about a half million bushels from farmers this year. It was a, it was a slower year than, than the previous, but this crop year alone, we took in a half million bushels directly from producers. We have a lot of programs in place and equipment in place that assures product safety. Um, because we are a flour mill, we have numerous sifters. We have four uh, material control devices that clean the wheat that remove all of the uh, impurities like metals, glass, rocks, things like that. Um, we have magnets to catch any metal that might be coming off of equipment per se. And then we have final metal detection at the end and we have a final rebolt sifter that's of a very fine mesh. So uh, we feel very safe that our product is safe because of all these measures. We are wide open for any kind of a pre-pack or a flour mix of any kind. On the packing side, yeah, we put in a, a, two new packers. The new, uh, both of them are Paglaronis, a valve packer and a small packer. Paglaroni does, or the valve packer does 50 pounds and 25 pounds. The 50s are rated at 500 bags a minute. And the 25s are 750 bags a minute. The small pack does twos to 10 pounds. So we, we added a, a Weber labeler, you know, so we're actually labeling on the gusset of the bag. Instead of using palletizers, now we're using robots that's actually putting the bags on the pallet. I've been here 23 years. Uh, when I walked in the door, we had an old 50 pound packer. 
that we just in the last year replaced. It was amazing when the new owners come in and they looked and evaluated everything. We now have six or seven new packers. What we used to do in 24 hours, we're doing in less than 10 hours now. And we can pack anything from a form and fill seal of seven ounces up to totes of 2,500 pounds. We have uh, a, a new area that that's, it's, goes with those new packers that has opened old, brand new doors for volume of business, and that's our new blending plant. And, and in order to do what we're doing, we have special packers that goes just with the blending plant so that we can roll things in and out and change the sizes and clean them out good and, and have it ready to go for the next mix. We have modern technology again at Panhandle Milling. <laughs> The unofficial mission of Specialty Grains is to create a, a product that we can then give to a customer and they can say, wow, I've never seen something up to that standard. You know, we, we just, we're, I think that we're uh, raising the standard. And wh what we're doing is we're just taking a, a raw product and giving somebody else a raw product that is much cleaner and easier to work with to, to become a finished food product. We have a brand new receiving facility for all of our corn products. So we have a very, effective segregation system which allows us to have dedicated or organic grains bins that we can um, guarantee the integrity of the the non-gmo by through testing that we do here in at the customers receiving location we have been out of the food grade corn business for 10 years especially grain was created and so we could bring the special grains back in, not only with the ancient grains, but with food grade corn. Our product has been trusted, I think, for so many years because we do pay uh, great attention to the quality and, and the safety of the product. I think that the, the customers that we've, we've worked with so far acknowledge that we're willing to, to go the extra mile to get them what they need, whether it be for them or for their customer. All customers are not uh, alike in their needs, and so we try to blend the wheat to match the customer specification and what they expect from, from our product. We run tests uh, called a mixograph on the wheat that gives us a ballpark idea of what the gluten structure of that wheat's gonna be so that we can actually blend the wheat with the proper protein, we, we track proteins as well, so we want the proper protein with the proper strength for the customer's needs. You know what, we've learned over the last 23 years that we have a lot of loyalty with our customers. Uh, this, this company has never been known to be the cheapest out on the street, but we try to do the things maybe that some of the competitors don't do. We try to give them a little bit better service. We try to give them consistency and quality, and if they call and they have a challenge or a problem, we answer them. There's not a long chain of communication between me, the operations guy, and uh, the customer. It's The customer can talk to me and I can tell them whether something is doable or if it's, it's just not a, a feasible idea. We don't want to tell someone we can't do something unless we truly can't do it. And that's after we exhaust all resources to see if we really truly can. We want to do everything we can for them, you know, and to give them the best quality product. Uh, our product is actually checked throughout the process uh, a total of four times. So we feel certain that the customer is getting what they need and that our product does comply with all of the, the regulatory entities and uh, I think that's how you build trust and getting to know your customers and helping them out on occasion if they do have functionality problems or things like that and, um, and we do that. From the farmer all the way to the grocery store into your house, we can do something if you just tell us what you need.